Big Brother fans, I thought we could have a chat while I'm boiling in the kettle. Let's discuss boring Big Brother housemates and why they're so important to the balance of the structure of the dynamic of the house. You can't have 16 extroverts in that house. The broadcast will be shut down every five minutes. For every Halley, you've got to have a Tom. You've got to have a Matty. Now, I'd rather watch paint dry than watch those two lads. Even though I'm sure they're lovely boys, I'd love to go out for a drink with them. I'm sure we could have a good laugh. But in terms of the X factor, they don't have it. And let's be honest, Halley does. But, yeah, you need people like Tom. You need people like Matty. You need people like Henry or it doesn't work. The problem is people like that who really give very little to the show. You know, apart from eating lobster fermador, what has Henry really done? Apart from crushing, you know, on, on Jordan. That's it. But what happens is he remains in the process, a wealthy young man and a working class young woman like like Hallie, gets evicted through being an extrovert. It's not a sin, it's not a crime to be an extrovert, but for the judgmental British public, people like Hallie, Dylan, Paul to a lesser extent, because I don't think Paul was really that interesting to me again. Love to meet him, love to go out for a drink. Now, Paul, I hope you didn't tell Tom your address, mate, because I think that guy's got it bad for you. He can't wait to meet up with you. He's going a little bit over the top, but there you go. Love is blind, I suppose. But yeah, you do need that balance at the end of the day. You really do. And it, you can't just have the exciting extroverts in the house. Otherwise, it would be insane. Because I think Big Brother 5 and Big Brother 6, one of the year that Big Brother got evil, do you remember that one? And you had, you had Jason and you had my boy Victor and, you, you know, you had different extroverts in the house and it was insane. That was the year they had to shut down the broadcast for a few hours when the girls came out of the cake. So that's what happens. It's a great series for the fans, but you don't really go on character journeys. The best Big Brother always is, is seeing characters evolve. Because everybody thinks they're better than the animal. Everybody thinks they can fall the reality show, the Big Brother process. When they come in on launch night, I am the big I am. Yeah, man, I'm going to win. I'm amazing. But as you see them go through week after week, the process tears down them to the bare minimum, to what they actually are. And that's why I, I, what I love about reality TV. That's why I was so devastated, frustrated and gutted that Hallie was taken away from us from the process because I think she was ready to go on this journey. I think she has a lot of complexities and I would have been very interested to see those complexities and we didn't see that. But in terms of Tom and Matty and Henry, we haven't really seen those complexities. Now, I can tell you what type of person Trish is just by watching her in the past month. She is a very passionate woman and she doesn't like bullies and she will defend the underdog and she's not afraid to come forward. And I spoke about the, I don't know if it was on um, on this, uh, on these Big Brother videos, but I spoke about, you know, To Cure Mockingbird, the Atticus Finch scenario. The person who's the hero who comes out all the time ends up, you know, being disliked by everyone in the end because you can't please everyone. I don't think that Trish is attempting to. Sometimes I love Trish, sometimes I think, can't you just world it in? But yeah, she is, you know, she's got a great chance of winning this show. I still don't think she will, but I still think she's got a chance. She is one of the more popular members of this year's Big Brother cast. It's, look, I love this cast. I think it's been absolutely fantastic. But yeah, because um, we're not going, we, we, we didn't have Big Brother last night, although um, apparently Jenkin is up for next week's Friday eviction. Apparently a bunch of them have been talking about nominations. What happened to the free strikes in your out raw? Now, even though I love Hallie, when she was talking about noms, when Olivia was talking about noms, I was very frustrated that their only punishment was going in the garden. If you used to speak about nominations in the Superior Channel 4 era, 
you got a strike. You get three strikes and you're out. Personally, I prefer that. But I think if you break the cardinal rule of talking about nominations, you should be out with zero warning.